next, let's uh, uh, do the plotting for the book plot. So in this uh, video, I will show you how uh, we can draw the book plot using the semi-log graph. So the semi-log graph means that uh, the y-axis is the uh, linear scale and the x-axis is the log scale. And then for the direction for the log axis, the, the changes of the, uh, the width between one, one point to another point. Okay, if, you, uh, if you see this one to this one, the, the width is y. As the frequency, as the value of the frequency increase, this is the incre increase direction. So the width become narrower. So this is the, the the correct this is the correct direction. So if you are given uh, if you are given a, a semi log graph, so make sure make sure the direction of the semi log is, is correct. So for for example, this is not correct. Okay, this is not correct because uh, it become the the increment direction is towards the left side. Okay. So this is one of the reminder. So you need to be remind you need to be uh, please remind be reminded that make sure the direction of the log scale is correct. Okay. After that, when you have the semi log, next you can uh, put your axis. So let's say I put the axis here. This is uh, frequency, and then uh, this is the uh, gain. So this is uh, gain, and then the unit of gain is dB, and then this is frequency. The unit is the hertz. Okay. So uh, you see uh, when you do plot, you see the value of the frequency. So the maximum is 100 hertz, and then the minimum is 2 hertz. So uh, the maximum, let's say this one is 100. So below one cycle is 10, below one cycle is 1, below one cycle is 0 0.1, and then this is 0 0.01. So this is how you uh, label the x axis and then next uh, for the gain so this is the av mid so av mid is the maximum gain so we put here this is our maximum this is our maximum 40 let's say this is uh, 20 this is 0 minus 20 minus 40 and then this is minus 60 okay After you finish uh, label the axis, so you can draw the mid band uh, line. So the mid band line is above the uh, you you uh, see the the calculated or the given frequencies. So and then you choose the highest one. The highest one will become your uh, lookup of frequency. In this case, the highest is FL one, which is hundred hertz. This is our FL. So above 100 hertz, this uh, the BJT operate at the mid band. So the gain is 40 dB. So above 100, the gain is 40 dB. So the line is uh, sorry. So the line is that I insert the. So this is the line of uh, this is the mid band. So the mid band is after, 
until the FL FL1 <coughs> so below the FL1 <coughs> so one capacitor will appear so the roll off is uh, for the F uh, less than FL1 it is uh, minus 20 dB per decade okay so minus 20 dB decade is also uh, in the region where the frequency is above the second highest so the second highest is 50 hertz this is fl1 and then fl2 so uh, for the frequency between 50 hertz to 100 hertz the uh, the slope of the the gain is minus 20 db per decade okay this is flc1 fl1 FL2 is uh, 50 Hz. So 50 Hz is 1, 2, is 20, 30, 40. So this one is 2, 20, 40, 20, 30, 40, 50. So this is FL2. So this is uh, 500. So this is, sorry, not 500, 50 Hz. This is 50 Hz. Okay, so between uh, 10, sorry, 100 hertz to 50 hertz, the, the slope is 20 dB per decade. Okay, if you want to use the 20 dB per decade, so uh, you need to, to find, in order for you to draw the one line with the slope of 20 dB per decade, you need to have another point below the uh, initial point one decade below the initial point so in this case the initial point is fl1 fl1 is 100 hertz so below one decade of 100 hertz is 10 hertz so this is below one decade at below the one decade the gain will be reduced as much as uh, as 20 db so initial gain is 40 db after one decade so the gain will be 20 db so at 10 hertz so the gain is 20 db okay so this is the line as i put i uh, draw the line okay this is the line of uh, 20 db per Decade. This is the line of 20 dB per decade. Okay. So, but there is a sub, there is one thing that you need to remember. This 20 dB per decade is only until FL2. So, FL2 is until at this. This is 20, 30, 40, 50. So, FL2 is this is the this is FL2. So means that above the uh, below than FL2. Okay. So the, the roll off is increased to double. Double. It is minus 40 dB per decade. Okay. So below than this, it is double. So you need to uh, ignore this part. Okay, you need to ignore this part. So what happened is um, this blue line will be only until this FL2. So, yeah. Let let me uh redraw it again. So we put it. This is as the test line. So the the correct drawing is until this point 
so until this point okay Below then FL2, the roll off is different. The roll off is 40 dB per decade. So in order for 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 us to uh, draw the line with the slope of 40 dB per decade, you need to know the initial initial gain. The initial gain at FL2 is around let's say this one is 34. Okay, let's say 34. So the gain at F, FL2 is 34. Okay. So uh, FL2 is 50 Hz. So one decade. So one decade of uh, 50 Hz is 5 Hz. So the 5 Hz is 2, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is FL3. So the, the next region is between FL2 and FL3. So in this region, uh, the slope is uh, minus 40 dB. Okay. Oh, sorry, this is not FL3. This is a 50 Hz. This is, sorry, this is a 5 Hz. Okay, at 5 Hz, if the initial gain is 34 dB and then the roll off is 40 dB, after one decade, from the, five, from the 50 Hz, which is 5 Hz, at 5 Hz, the gain should decrease minus 40. So 34 minus 40 is um, minus 8. Okay, minus 8. So at 5 Hz, the value is minus 8. So where is the 5 first? So this is around, this is the plot of uh, frequency 5 first, and then the gain is uh, minus 8. And then starting from this one to this one, this is uh, your okay. This is the your dB uh, minus forty dB per decade. Okay. So this line. It's not reaching our uh, last FL3. FL3 is at the 2. Okay, FL3 at, is at uh, 2. FL3 is at 2. So this is our FL3. So what you need to do is. You need to extrapolate this straight line until it reach the FL2. Okay, so the next region is uh, you can the line for the next region is from this along until this line. Okay, so this is our FL3. Okay, for the frequency uh, below then FL3, so this is FL2. Okay, the dB is minus 60 dB per decade. So at the FL3, the gain is uh, let's say this is let's say minus 25. Okay, let's say minus 25 dB. Then FL3 is uh, 2 Hz. So one decade below is 0 0.2 Hz. 0 0.2 Hz. 
So at 0.2 Hz, the gain will be minus 25 minus 60. So this will be minus 85 dB. But now, our, uh, but here, our, uh, our plotting for y axis, the minimum is minus 60. So uh, using the dB per decade is not uh, that practical. So in this case, instead of using the dB per decade, you use the dB per octave. Okay. So minus 60 dB per octave is equivalent to the minus 18 dB per octave. So what is octave? Octave is the changes of uh, change of twofold. So if the initial frequency is two hertz. After one octave, the frequency is one hertz. So at one hertz, the the gain should be minus twenty five minus eighteen. So minus twenty five minus eighteen is minus forty three. So should be at the one. This is minus forty three. So from this line, Okay, this is uh, 18 dB per octave or 60 dB per decade. Okay, this is the, uh, the final drawing for the book plot. Okay, you see here. Um, there is a one, two, three, four. We have four region. The first region is the mid band. This is the first region is the mid band where the frequency is uh, fixed at the forty dB. And we have the second uh, region is the frequency between uh, FL one and FL two. So here the roll off is uh, minus 20 dB per decade. This is our second region. And then the third region is between frequency of FL2 and then F. So the frequency is, sorry, FL2, this is FL2, and then this is FL3. So this is uh, the gate, the roll off is minus 40 dB per decade. And then the last region is, the four region is where the frequency is below than FL3. So here the roll off is minus 40 dB per decade. Okay, so uh, here, uh, you can use, uh, when you uh, plot the book plot, you want to plot the book plot manually. So uh, please be remember that uh, you need to have, uh, you need to uh, use dB per octave in certain case. For example, uh, when the, when, when the, your scale for y axis is not that, not that large. So, you can use the dB per octave. So the 20 dB per per decade is equal to 6 dB per octave. 